We are in St. John Parish today uh, for the one year anniversary of Hurricane Ida. And a lot of businesses here were uh, heavily damaged. Electricity was, was gone, a lot of flooding, wind damage. But uh, one of the things that was hurt here was tourism. Tourism is a huge, a huge business in uh, the River Parishes, and we have the Director of Tourism for the River Parishes, Jay Robichaux. Uh, I, I don't think people realize just how big of an impact tourism is uh, on, in the River Parishes. So tourism is, is, is a real big impact. So pre-Ida, we were probably about 30 or 40 percent of the economy coming into the River Parishes. That's a lot. And then post-Ida, we're recovering. Um, I, I think we're recovering very fast. So, so we're catching up to that number pretty good. And when people think about tourism in this area, they always think about going to New Orleans, Bourbon Street, things like that. But the, uh, the, the outlying parishes, the, the three river parishes, pull in a lot of tourists. So we try to push the two days before, two days after from New Orleans. We want you to come in and go visit New Orleans, but we want you to come visit us out here in River Parishes. You know, I hear around the country people coming in saying they, they went to New Orleans, they went to a conference, but they also went to a swamp tour. But they didn't yeah. go to a swamp tour in the middle or of New Orleans. Or a plantation. Or a plantation. They didn't go to that in the middle of New Orleans. They came out here for that. What we try to push is for people to understand that they're actually in the river parishes, not inside of New Orleans. And for those who don't know, what are the three parishes that make up the river parishes? So the river parishes are St. Charles, St. John, and St. James Parish. And of course, you know we're split exactly in the middle by the Mississippi River. Yeah. And, and talk about some of the tourism you, you guys have here. It's more than swamp tours. It's a lot more than swamp tours. So we like to, to say that we're the, uh, the outdoors part of, of, of the trip. So we like to do fishing here. We have biking. We have a bike trail on the spillway. We have the bike trail that leads from the zoo in New Orleans all the way through St. James Parish, which is 60 miles of bike trails, which is very popular. We also created the Undui sausage. So we have the Undui trail. Yeah. So Undui sausage is a German sausage. And the the yeah. best are here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Undui sausage is a German sausage with Cajun French influence, and then it's smoked to perfection and then cut up and put in your jambalaya and your gumbo. You know, and, and we, we talked about plantation tours. That's just, it's gotten a bad name. There's, there's another plantation that gives the other side, Whitney Plantation. Yeah, well, so, so all of our plantations tell a little different story, each one. Most of them, though, now in the last five, five or six years, has turned into the entire story, the whole history part. So when you walk into the plantation and you take a tour, you truly step into the past, into history, and you get to feel of the front of the house and of the back of the house. You get the entire story. And, and, and the story of, of enslaved people has become a huge part, and rightly so. Yes, it has. A lot of the enslaved people actually designed and built the house. They actually worked the fields. They actually took care of the kids from the front of the house. They, they were the backbone of that house. All right, and when do you think things will be back to normal here in St. John? Well, that, that, that's, uh, a, in the that's river a trick. Parishes. Yeah, that's a trick question. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, uh, tourism has been affected a lot, hasn't it? Oh, yes, it has. So, but just as post-Katrina, I was an insurance agent during Katrina, and we tell stories constantly, pre-Katrina, post-Katrina, I think we're going to do the same thing with Ida. Yeah. There are some things that are better. There are some things that we're going to miss. All right, Jay, thank you very much. We appreciate that.